Okay, so this is like baby Dungeons and Dragons for Ghost, for the like Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. Uh, mostly uh, role playing, but like, uh, there is a like, so unlike D and D, you're not supposed to die in this game. You get hospitalized, but that's probably gonna be an amendment I will probably pencil in if we do God. more. Uh huh. Can I break the game to win that? All right, so let's create your characters first. Yeah, that's what I think. Um. So ID card. Uh, we put your yeah you you put name down. Okay. Let's so name. Down. Let's see name. Uh oh. Can't write uh, on it. Okay, text thingy does not work. You cannot. <laughs> Why? Why is this? Okay. Um. um... Well, that's. I'm, I'm just gonna open a text document on my side. Yeah. Let's... I guess do I that. I don't know what else to do. It's fine. <laughs> uh, if we ever do this more, uh, I did check. Uh, Roll20 does have a Ghostbusters game system. For this, for yeah, yeah. This. All right, so name. We're going to call my guy Joe. Uh, common. Um, and then we have traits. Traits, okay. So and then you have... Traits are split up into four categories, it looks like. Okay. Yeah. You have 12 points to uh, allocate to traits. You can't have... You can't have less than one. You need one in each... At least one in each stat, but you can't have more than seven in one. Okay. Um, brains is, a, is how smart you are. Oh. It's self-explanatory. Muscles is, like, how strong you are. Okay. Uh, moves is like it's like dexterity, basically. Yeah, I'm reading through it now. It looks like dexterous and physical adept. Like anything that has to do with like movement or like dodging or balancing, it all looks like it's under moves. Yeah. Um. And then cool looks like it's like your charisma equivalent. Yeah, cool is charisma. Basically. Okay. Uh, so, let me know when you guys get done uh, putting your points in your trees. We get 12, only 12 points from what I'm reading here? Yep, 12, and then no more okay. 7 and 1. But you at least yeah, have sweet. 1 in each. Okay. So, uh, under the four, st four stats, we gotta pick that out. I think for me, no, I gotta read what, what these things are. I would probably go, like, mm, all threes. Two, two, and two. That's a way to do it, Andy. <laughs> that hundred percent might work out too. Um, I think I would do like mostly right. brains so, and also, then muscles, let me, moves, and cool. Let me just like also add in that like when I ask you for like rolls, the the amount the points you have in traits is about how many dice you roll for that. Oh, okay. So, in other words, by having more points in certain things... Okay, that makes sense. So, yeah. so like, Andy, yours isn't a bad idea at all doing three for all of them. Because then you would have three dice rolls equip effectively for everything. Everything. That means you'd probably be, like, decent at most things, but probably not able to do, like, super challenging things in one category. Seems like a good plan. Now, I'm, I'm going to stick with mine, just because I think it'll be interesting. And then, after we do that... For each trait we spent, we pick a talent from the things, right? Uh, you pick one uh, talent for each of the traits. So, um, for brains, you do like. Uh, you see okay. There's a, list, there's a list there of like. So it's not that that, that okay. So actually, you, you, just, do, like... you just pick one of each. Like sometimes they want like sometimes these things want like be that helpful but kind of i don't know okay yeah i'm gonna split it's, up my stats I'll, a little more than so if a if a dice roll is pertaining to like is related to your type of talent mm -hmm. you get x three extra dice rolls yeah i'm seeing that so like for me so i could pick like one basically we each get to pick one brain one muscle one cool one moves yep okay 
So like, eh. oh, that's gonna be very like. Hmm. Reading through these things. <laughs> Digits. So stuff like... Okay. Uh, also, I've been reading... Like, like some of them like, kind of like weave into each other. Yeah, like, like some of these I'm like a little confused by because of that, I guess. I guess like it'd be some, my... Pr something my... Like, like climb and balance, right? Where if you're climbing up something, you're balancing... So like, I guess it would be. It's obviously a D, it's game master discretion, right? But yeah. still, it's very like, as a GM, you can just be like, yeah, you never get to use these, like, because you can very much argue that like a lot of these things actually belong in like the other trait pool. And some of these are completely useless. Like, yeah, play poker. Yeah, thank you. That's why I was like, what is. What? I mean, maybe in the you one scenario. Yeah. <laughs> Might be a scenario that needs that. Play the stock market. How? Who? Why? What? The next one going to be like, play NFT market. Like, stop. Um, raise children. You, I, you never know. I, sh I, oh. No, I just let them become ghosts. That'd be my answer. Unless it, like, helped me with a child ghost, I guess. I guess that's a scenario. Sure. Um, I guess I'll do... So, for cool, I guess I would do, like... What would I do? I guess... I see, like, stuff like bluff and convince and charm are really close to each other. Yeah, see, at that point, I would just say, like, that's Whichever bluff. one? That's bluff. Like, they, what if I, I'm trying to convince you? You know what I mean? They, like, whatever. Like, if I pick convince and I try to bluff you, bluffing is nothing but trying to convince you of a lie. Yeah. So it's convince. Yeah. That's what I would say. Oh. See, I would argue, no, there's a stat that's called bluff. If your thing you're doing is bluff, that would be the only, you know what I mean? See, I'm more generous, okay? Yeah, I guess that's fair. So I guess I'll do convince then, because that would make me just I'm what sorry. that's gonna make me do. I'm sorry, is, um, that's you're not bluffing actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, so that's the thing, Mike. I'm gonna tell you right now as a player what I would 100% do with that knowledge, and I'm going to is I would try to abuse it. Like I would take the most generic thing in every one of these, whatever can whatever can hit the most of these talents that I could argue, like convince. I can argue a lot of those, yeah. like orate charm. Tell fibs. Uh, charm yeah. is not... Okay, think play charm. You have lovely eyes, Mike. And you're you trying know, to convince me of that. I'd love to take you out on a date. And you're trying... Oh, uh, okay. I, I see what you're doing there. Right? So that's... But you see my point. Like, that's why I'm saying, like, the hard part with these games is that for the people who are watching your video and curious, make sure you're clear with your audience and what you intend to do, Right? Because if you are going to be specific, then it's going to matter more in this stage. If you're not going to be specific, your players may be able to choose stuff. And if they're like me and willing to debate damn near anything, they might not be the best. All right. All right next. All right, ready? Okay. I guess I'm going to uh, fire just... a weapon. Oh, okay. I still have to do the rest of them. I only did cool. Because it was at the top of the page. Mike's over here like, oh, yeah, look, Andy's done. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally watching Andy's screen right now because he's actually yeah. writing on the board. Oh yeah, I'm, I, yeah I, I like his guess. name though. His name is Digits. D fucking. <laughs> I hope. I hope. Uh... I hope these characters carry over. <laughs> it could be interesting. Uh, and I guess I'll do this. I, I don't know how this will help, but sure. All right, so I got my four: medicine, run, fire, weapon, and convince. Sure. Okay. Um. Brownie points, everyone starts at 20, 20? At, the, at the start of each, like, episode. Yep, and then that's that, uh, this little ticker that... Yeah. Uh, brownie points are basically... Okay, so, it's a health pool, 
plus you can spend brownie points to get extra dice rolls. Okay. But like, if you take damage, you can either take uh, a point, like uh, points taken away in your uh, stats or uh, your traits, or you can give me brownie points. Okay. So it's a health pool and like, an, uh, like inspiration dice. Um, this doesn't matter right now since we're doing one example playthrough, but personal goals. Yeah, I was reading that. Uh, there's like, there's literally just four of them. Um, for the sake of, uh, so what, the one is getting changed to find love. Sex. Yes. <laughs> Which is, is funny because I feel like this is, this is tooled down for like, Children. Yeah. Though Ghostbusters is not. <laughs> I remember, there's a ghost blowjob in those movies, man. Yes, yeah, I remember that scene. He has a ghost girlfriend. That's a thing. Uh, you could, you, uh, your uh, personal goal could be wealth to fame or uh, science. Humanity, money. Oh, yeah. and serve humanity. Yeah, money as well, it looks like. Yeah, that's fame. Uh, wealth, sorry. Oh, gotcha. I, I missed you hearing. I missed hearing wealth. Fair enough. I might have said well, uh, fame I think you place. did say it, but I think you said wealth. I just, brain didn't translate. So, uh... Um, let me just see... I think that's it for, like, character creation. Basically. Mm-hmm. So, uh, this scenario... I wrote it down in my notebook and everything. <laughs> uh, let me just. <gasps> I'm. Just... Oh god. I'm zoomed out. Okay, so uh, uh, you guys were hired to be the grave shift for the New York Ghostbusters to give them a, a like a rest. Um, the past couple nights been uneventful, being false alarms and prank calls. That all changes tonight as you get a call from the manager of the Broadway Theater. Um, she tells you it's, uh... Urgent and maybe uh, dealt with, you know, fast. Mm-hmm. So, okay. So, in gameplay wise, you're only allowed to bring three equipment, which would be arguably everyone takes a proton pack, basically. Oh, like proton pack, these things. Okay. Yeah. Walkie talkie count. I'm gonna say no. I think it does, but like it yeah, clips onto your say, like, it clips onto your shoulder. Like, how else would you keep in contact with each other? Yeah, I understand that. I I could make the debate for that with the visors too, where you just have them on like your forehead. But yeah, I think it's fair. I think walkie-talkie being an open comm thing makes more sense in the gameplay aspect. So it would be like everyone just naturally has a walkie-talkie. Yeah. And then you pick the three. So yeah. like for it would probably be like for me, I'd probably do like. Hey, I mean, everyone hey, has to have a proton pack, which is. I don't do feel, you have hmm? to? I guess you don't I have wonder... to. Well, later on, you can have the slime how blower. Would that be use... Oh, okay. I was say, how would you be useful then? And okay. Then that there's makes a more sense. and you can like create your own types of stuff, like weapons and stuff. I guess later down the line. Mm-hmm. So, you have your three. I'm yep. debating, but yeah, I'm pretty much. I'm pretty much. I'm doing between the visor and the meter. Well, you should pick the one that Andy doesn't have. He has both. Does he? He doesn't have oh. trap. I have trap. Okay. I, I just don't know. So... I don't know what you pick between those two right now. Okay. I didn't see he. Uh... Did... I thought he got a trap. I didn't see that one. <laughs> nope. No um... trap here. I mean, on a successful brains roll or see in the dark. I guess I'll take see in the dark. 
I don't know if that'll be valuable or not, but. All right, so I've got mine. Okay. Um, so to do a um, the first roll, I'm assuming Andy's driving the Ecto one since he has the drive vehicle talent. Or that would uh, that would that be makes sense. logical. <laughs> so uh, it, there's quite a bit of traffic, and I need you to roll see like how quickly oh, you no, get there. Oh no, we're stuck in traffic. Yeah. Apparently, so uh, that means if you're doing oh, well, driving, well, you we'll would roll see. We'll see six if, dice. We'll see way. if you get stuck in traffic. We'll we'll see what happens with the dice roll. So when you when you do a roll, um, ah, yeah. these dice. Yeah, but one of them has to be this ghost die, though. Okay. Okay. Because stuff happens if you roll a ghost. So you should, only... that, should that happen before we get to the place, as well? What do you mean? Since we're in traffic and not at the event. Well, no, the... you're rolling to see if, like, there's traffic tonight, so we're going to see if you get stuck in traffic, how well you I'm drive. More, I, was more, I was more curious how the ghost dice has anything to do with that, I guess. Uh, it's... So the ghost dice is, like, something negative happens. Even if you, like, succeed, like, there's a little hitch. Okay. I was thinking that, like, yeah, my brain's just thinking, like, how, how are the ghosts here? But fair enough. I don't know, this... So, so, that would be, uh, eight, well, uh, 10, 20, 20, yeah, uh, you avoided, you, you definitely avoided the traffic and got there, <laughs> uh, yeah, post haste. Speedy boy. You, uh, ran a few red lights, but didn't get caught. <laughs> As I said, it was an emergency. <laughs> and it's like the alarms playing the whole, the <laughs> We yeah yeah those alarms going and everything yeah 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 okay so uh, the manager is standing outside uh female um Caucasian uh Irish accent. Mm -hmm. uh, she gave out her name was Caitlin O'Reilly. So, oh, thank God you're here. Uh, we've been trying to, uh, we're trying to set up for the next play, uh, this Broadway, it's, it's plays, right? For... Yeah, it would be like a, it's a theater, so it'd be plays. Theater plays, okay. We're trying to set up for the next uh, play, but uh, every night the stage gets reconfig, uh, the stage gets uh, reconfigured to uh, the wrong uh, setting setup. The, um. I kind of want to do something that's more aligned with what I would do in these types of games. So I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try a roll, and I'm going to attempt to convince them of something. And if it goes well, I'll tell you what that thing is directly, you know, in the correct way. If it goes poorly, I'll, I'll, I'll enact what my character is shittily convincing. Okay. Uh, five, eleven, plus another four, fifteen. Uh, okay, so here's here's what I'm gonna convince. Uh, what was? Uh, uh, do we get a name off this person? Did they, did they say their name or no? Yeah, uh, Caitlin O'Reilly. Caitlin O'Reilly. Like, oh, Caitlin, good to see you. We're actually the uh, actors here uh, for the play. Can you show us the way to the stage? <laughs> this is what I would do. One hundred percent. Why are you guys dressed up as? Ghostbusters. And oh, this is our cosplay. This is our cosplay outside of work. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um. So you're you're here to audition for. 
No, we are called by we are called by your manager to come down and replace some of the folks that got scared away by the ghosts tonight. Oh. <laughs> I'm the king of bullshit, remember that? <laughs> okay, well, uh the rehearsals canceled because of the ghosts. You might so. want to talk to your manager about that one. Um Okay, let's, uh, I'll see you back there, and she, I guess, leads you in there, and show you <laughs> So we're, like, heading, we're heading to the dressing room. With, full, like, proton <laughs> packs, Ghostbuster gear. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Wow, uh, you know, you guys should have been the real Ghostbusters. Uh, they're kind of late. I mean, they always are. Have you ever read any of their reports? They always make it after the block is destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, wait here and I'll uh, go and get this situated. And then she. Um, and I'm assuming, like, while we're walking through, we didn't see any anomalies or weird, crazy shit. Uh. Not yet. No. Okay. Um, she leaves you, like,. In the like theater part, theater. Oh, like it. the actual like theater, theater, like center stage kind of thing. Yeah, and then she uh, walks off to like the office to uh, see why you're here, even though there's no rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just, find, I just find it fun. Okay. Well, you're on. You're, uh, I guess, like near the stage. Okay. So I so the idea there would be like me and Andy could go around investigating. Mm-hmm. Um, how do we? Uh, you you uh you have equipment to detect ghosts. I don't. Uh, like the goggles. They only see in the dark. Uh, um, why don't I we would... just turn the lights off? I would say that you could like. See like ecto like activity, I guess. Yeah. But then, the PKE meter doesn't have a reason anymore. Then. Well, the BK the PKE can show you like. I guess that is true. Right. I don't want to. I'm just. Yeah, my character wouldn't be able to detect it really outside of like walking I mean, around. And I looking. mean, I mean, the goggles could see like. I guess. Like just ghost things activity. in the dark. Yeah. Like, like uh like glowing ghost activity, I guess, and then uh PKA is a more meter would be like no line like, of sight if you had to find a room. And like they'll like tell you what type of ghost and shit. Mm hmm Okay. As long as we, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I think that clarification works. So my guy's like we're looking around with the goggles and uh so that's what would be the role on that? Uh to, is there the detect? Am I looking for? Uh, goggles. It'll be probably brains to use it. I'm just looking to see if it has a talent that I can associate it with. If I like, convince, I'm you're gonna convince the. No, I know. I'm not looking for like convince. <laughs> I'm looking for like a brains one that would be like, oh, it's deduce. I guess maybe not. I think it would. Um, okay. So I have four dice in brains, so I can like go around and look for it. And then, um, Andy, do you want to like first start scanning with the PKE? So the idea there would be you roll your number of brain dice. So for you, it's three. To keep it simple. Sure. So it would be the one ghost dice and then two regular dice to see if you search around and find anything. Well, that's a probably no. Uh, <laughs> uh, you like you can't find the on switch for it. <laughs> He's just sitting there you, trying to use you the guys, this, is like, this is like your first rodeo, uh, and you you haven't familiarized with the uh, equipment yet. I, I look right. I look I look over at digits and I go, I know we said we were cosplayers, but did you bring the real equipment? Like, no, nope. That's just my reply. I think this is the wrong one. 
Um, and then I'm going to try, uh, like, searching around with mine, because I have four in the brain. Okay. Um, that's more decent. Uh, that's 20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would probably do you. Okay. Well, the stage is gl uh, faintly glowing. Okay. And are we, we were on the stage, right? Like, near it. Like... Okay, like down in the like, down in the uh, like the between aisles. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I will. Um, I mean, I guess upon seeing that the thing is glowing with all the whatnots, uh, can I? Um, I guess I'll start, like, going around the stage to the stairs to, like, head up and point to, uh, digits. And be like, oh, the stage is looking a bit weird while I do so. Oh. I didn't realize, because my thing is broken. And I, I just look over and go, the goggles tell me everything while I have the goggles, like, on. Like, I look like Sam Fisher from Slinger Cell. <laughs> so, you get on stage... Mm-hmm. And... Um... You notice... I don't, I don't know if you would notice, but, like... When you first came in, there's like, set pieces. By the time you finally got on stage, they, like, moved... Slightly. Okay. Like, it looks like they got rearranged, like, ever so slightly. Um, yeah, that's about it so far. Um, the, okay. you know what, at this time, um, out of, out of nowhere, you see a translucent man in, like, medieval clothes. Okay. Medieval is in, like, peasant, knight, king. Shakespeare? So, okay. I don't know. Cool. I understand Shakespearean clothes. We're going to go with that one. That it's one, fine. there we go. I understand I... what that is, considering. I... I felt like they were the same thing. I'm not gonna get. Uh, I'm just gonna have to double check because I'm pretty sure Shakespeare not medieval. Is, uh, not all, uh, Renaissance. Ah, ah, I'll let you have it. Close enough. 1600s. 1500s technically because 1616. Uh, so it's close enough. Yeah, you're, you're you're within reach. Anywho, uh, Shakespearean clothes. How about that? Oh, I thought he was more recent. Um, uh, looks like he's just shuffling around on the stage. Is he anywhere near me? Uh, no, he's, like, in the back area of the stage. You're in the front area. Okay. Like, behind, like, the where the curtain would be. I'd be on the side, but yeah, okay. Like, no, the, like, the like that part. The stage are only like, on the left and right sides. Like, the, like, center, like, you know, like, when the curtain pulls, like, to the backstage, the... Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's like I'm in just, that area, just... but with the curtain still opened up. Yeah, yeah, my character would be on the side. See, saying. this is why I was hoping that when you were cycling Play through those map, maps, I, I was yeah. like, uh, like at least some sort of like big Something. building. Yeah, because then that would be a lot easier to show where the characters are versus us having to use our imagination at this moment. But I mean, this is it's working. It's this working. type of game is type of uh, imagination game. I mean, not when you got a map. I don't have to imagine where I am. But the theater of the mind, okay? Is the map? I don't, I don't really have much. Map. Of yeah, there isn't. Trust me. That's a... <laughs> Normally in these games, you have a map, Andy, so you know where you are when you're doing these things. Like uh, a hex grid. Or, uh, uh, sorry, not a hex grid. Uh, just a regular graph, grid paper map. Grid. Grid, grid paper map, yeah. yeah. Um, I, yeah, I decided I to come uh... up here, and Andy, I assume, also sees this spiritual thing in the back. So, Andy, whatever <laughs> you want to do, you should do first, I think. 
I'm kind of treating this like combat, Mike, so that way it's I not just I just learned that if you or... hover over the dice, it tells you how many mm -hmm. the total is. Neat. But if you highlight it... Oh, if you highlight it, it takes yeah. a total. Yeah, yeah, correct. That's how I've been... That's, yeah, that's, I, yeah, yeah, I, I was just waiting until other people counted because <laughs> I can't count. Oh, <laughs> fair. <laughs> um... So Andy's down in the what aisles. Uh, you and I both see from the like you from the aisles see that there's a a spiritual esque figure and some things happening with the scenery on the stage towards the back, like where the oh. curtain would be. Your character can decide to come up on the stage and help out. You can go search other places. You can... It's up to you. I um. Can you try and like scan around again if you want to see if there's like a better result from your scanner? Maybe get close to the ghost, scan from there. That's probably a good idea. Try to try to scan again. Maybe maybe my meter works now. Yeah. So like, uh, come up on the stage with me and try and scan what the fuck's going on around this area. Yeah. I, I can just visually see it. Yeah, that's a great idea. You rolled eight, seven. seven. Okay, right, I'll I'll give it to you since you're like closer. Um, the PKA meter definitely tells you that there's a ghost there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it's a class three anchored repeater. And I know you guys don't know what that means, but uh, basically, anchored means it's tethered to something. In this oh. in this plane of existence, okay. so it can't go anywhere. So that means we don't have to do anything with it. Well, we gotta get rid of it from the area because it stopped the play, right? That's what you hire for. Just leave it alone. It's like it's can't like if you found anywhere. a rat in a restaurant and his tail was trapped. You're like, yeah, I'm good. I'm done. I don't need to terminate yeah, this. He's... My job's over. He's, uh, <laughs> he's trapped. Meanwhile, the chef's like, there's still a rat. <laughs> yeah, but he's trapped. What about when he, what he becomes untrapped? Hmm. Well, now then they'll call us back. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how the Ghostbusters work. We go, yeah, your ghost is currently stuck where he's at, so we suggest you use a different part of the building. But if he escapes, uh, feel free to call <laughs> us back for a uh, renewed contract. <laughs> um, or this, okay. this type of ghost who, like, even though you, you catch them, they still keep coming back. They keep coming back. Yeah, yeah. Um. So... Uh, upon seeing uh, seeing that, I'm assuming I also have that information to some extent. Mm-hmm. I, I, I would assume that you... You know, I, I should... Everyone do a brains roll. Okay. So, uh, Andy, you can do a brain roll first. Since you guys... This is, uh... Andy got six. six. Okay. And then for me, I use four. A little better than a six. Uh, a solid uh, 19. Okay, so... <laughs> Andy. Huh. I don't know what any of that means, but class three is oh, higher yeah, yeah. than class two. <laughs> yeah, Andy's able to interpret that knowledge to, like, the basic degree of, like, Kyle, it's higher than a two. What is it, Andy? It's a three. Like... Um... But you, with that uh, nineteen, you uh, you know that uh, you know whatever I I just said. Yeah, yeah. So I know it's tethered to something. With those, uh, for an understanding of tethered, it's only tethered to a physical object, correct? Yeah. Just so, how does that work? I assume I'm assuming Ghostbusters would know this. I genuinely don't. Uh, you'll pr you'll have to find the object and. Either bring it with you for study, or just destroy it. Got it. So, I guess I'm in an attempt to do one of those two things. I'm going to shoot all of the stage set. <laughs> okay. Cool. I have a bonus to fire weapon, so I'm going to roll six dice. Which is arguably, other than driving, is one of the arguably the best talents yes, you have. Yes. So a 19. Oh, you shoot the fucking place up. Huh? 
So I shoot I shoot all the props in an attempt to like see if any of those tie my goal is clear off the stage effectively of any like anything that could it be patched to. Yeah, so this the entire you just <laughs> Everything, all the scenery, every, every, everything on the stage is basically burst. The stage is slightly on fire, <laughs> and the, and the like. I go like start tamping out the fire real quick. Uh, the fire, um, nope, 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 nope. the sprinkler system came on. Oh, now it's wet. Aww, I was hoping that by shooting well, I wouldn't like cause anything like that. But fair enough. I mean, I guess. No, because that would still cause a fire. Does it? I thought they just put holes, like make things incorporeal. They still cause fires. Oh, okay, sure. Would... <laughs> but no, you, oh. you like you, you got I'm everything off, like, on the, the video screen. games and all that jazz. But still, some little on fire. Yeah, but it doesn't like it's never set off a sprinkler. Put it that way. Okay, so no sprinkler. <laughs> but this is all I'm saying. I don't want to get wet. But you are. I don't want to get wet. There is, there's like literally like little like fires on the stage right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah like little little tiny bits. Of and like a very pissed off ghost. And a very mad ghost. I remember I didn't shoot near that ghost. Recall that. Shot uh, everything that wasn't the ghost. Um. Also, hearing that the manager actually no, it's combat now because the ghost is pissed off. <laughs> Um, I mean, you can still interlude with the little bit there before combat. I need to ghost dice. Okay, well, the the uh, assistant or whatever we ran the, into. The assistant runs out. He's like, "What the fuck?" I turn over. Where and, are the real Ghostbusters? <laughs> and when she says, "Oh, what the fuck?" the the go uh, the ghost is gonna um, use its ability. To terrorize you guys. Now let's see. Uh, I would say this and this and this is my basic understanding. Okay, everyone do a cools move uh cools roll. Cools? Uh let me just remember my number. Okay. Okay. And what are we using what are we using with the cools, I guess? Like we're just trying to avoid being terrified or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. Nine. Okay. Nine from Andy. And then oh one. I need to <laughs> Why is it just a silly dice moment? Oh god! I'll that to be my role. I'll take ten. Uh, well, I, I got higher than Andy. <laughs> well, everyone in the like everyone in the immediate area is terrified and can't move. Oh. Um. So. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Paralyze of fear. Yeah, ghost power versus the cools. Oh, power. Oh, wait. Let me re remember your numbers. I thought it was a different I roll do. I had to do. I, I thought do you it was. Your roll was or no? Andy was a nine. The other person was a ten. I thought there was the ecto presence I had to roll with, so it's just power. Okay. Uh, and. Okay, never mind. Everyone is fine. Yay! The ghost, like, <laughs> did one of those. Boo! Try. Tri you hear me? Boo, Boo! I say verily. Like, it's. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's a. Like, uh. Like, Casper. Uh. Boo? Uh, I I I I'm gonna uh, look uh, uh, over to the um, the ghost because I'm assuming I, would I be next or how's combat work? Um, Are yeah, we in it combat? Be, it would be it would be you guys. Well, okay. it's a confrontation at the very least. <laughs> like in the moment, boom. 
How you doing? I like how one dice difference is matters between you guys being terrified and yeah. from him being like the librarian terrified <laughs> too of Casper terrify. Yeah. So hmm. I um since I'm the one that shot the stage up, let's say Andy goes first. So Andy, you can try and like deal with the ghost in a couple ways. I imagine you could try to shoot the ghost. You could try to is there any other options, Mike? Um, can I run the ghost over with the car? <laughs> no, that's outside. I don't think that will work. But uh, shoot the ghost. Uh, at this can point, I, um, practice botany on the ghost. You could try talking to the ghost, uh, shooting the ghost, trying to find its object. I guess. Hmm. Okay. Um, can I bot any of the ghosts? No, you can't bot any of the ghosts. Well, um... It's in body plants. Yep. I'm trying to think how to make that work. I'm really going for it, Andy. I, I don't think that it... Or you could run away. Yeah. Um... I will, you're like, uh... You're like, oh, fuck, ghosts are real. You can try talking to the ghost about botany... And then use that for something to your advantage. But I can't figure out what that advantage would be. Can I, uh... Have a lovely conversation about botany with them to lure them into a... Into a trap? Uh, the only thing is, I don't know if it would really, like, lure them into a trap because we still end up having to attack them with the proton attack either way. Yeah, um, you're the, you're weaken it. Okay, yeah. so I'll just shoot them then. But, yeah, uh, I mean that. Yeah, I can't really think of much else. I'm like rolling through it. I'm like, eh. oh no, a ghost! Alright, so we roll? Andy rolled a fourteen and a ghost. Fourteen and a ghost. Yeah, a ghost. The ghost is a six, so it's a yeah, fourteen. Okay, so let's see. Oh, uh, you hit him, right? Uh huh. But I'm trying to think of the spin on this. Because of the ghost dice. Yeah. Because you mm -hmm. succeeded. You hit him. Very hard yeah, it's, with pretty... it's really hard it's a with the success. Yeah. You to think of it's a... a really hard and it's a good success. It's not like a mild success. Like that's a decent success at fourteen, um... I'd imagine. Uh yeah, I would say so you I hit. Slow him down. You uh, hit the. <gasps> you but like, you hit the curtains and the curtains fall down, obstructing okay. your view of the ghost. Uh, Andy's view, my view, both. Uh, where is everyone currently again? I would have been. I mean, we don't really have a great idea of that, but I would say that my guy was like. A little more center stagey to in order to do the like killing of the objects, yeah. Like the stage, um, Andy could, I guess, since I did that first, still be like towards the stairs that are on the sides, one of the sides. The hallway, really. I think I'm still in the doorway. Oh yeah, wait. You might you you could also, I guess, still theoretically be down in the aisles rather than up on the stage with me. I but you say... said you got closer to scan it earlier, remember? Yeah, so you are. We might want to say it. you're up on the stage with us, like left or right side, like by the stairs that enter the stage from the audience perspective. I would say it's and obstructing just... Andy's I'm view. Li I'm literally making a mind palace of this fucking place. Jesus Christ. Um, okay. All right, so palace. and if we keep doing this, it would. I would definitely do roll twenty and have maps made. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's gonna be that'd be, be like a big kicker on it. Um, okay, so then my turn, I guess. Yeah. Um. I oh, could Andy move on his turn to like get him just because he didn't move before attacking. Is uh, that how to that? Yeah, that. Let me think. <laughs> I, I just yeah that moment of like. It could be something where he moves ahead of the next turn to get closer to a position that he can see it. Or maybe he can even move let's treat, to a position. You know what, let's treat this with, like, Dungeons and Dragons and his so action. So he still move. Yeah, yeah, movement is different from action. 
Okay, so Andy, your guy could still move, and you can get like out of the obstructed viewway. I I uh, I think I will move to the other side of the stage where I can now see the you ghost can again. Still see that ghost. Okay. Um, on my turn, I will attempt to talk to the ghost, and I am going to attempt to hold on. I'm gonna make sure that's a uh, okay. That uh, so I don't need this one. Uh, I am going to attempt to convince him to tell me what object he's tethered to. Sure. Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, let me. Uh... You go ahead. Do your thing. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna actually work. My guy's just good at convincing people. It's literally the king of bullshit. That's all I made. Next time we play this, I'm going to put everything in convince. Everything's going in cool. Everything's going in convince. Thus. I'm going to walk around with like 10 convince dice. Um, <clears throat> he, he's, he looks at you as like the skull. Oh, oh Where well, I, I was going to ask you, did I, did, I, did I succeed or not? Yes, you overwhelmingly succeeded. Okay, all right. So this is right. a particularly my, powerful ghost. I know my, my my convince looks at him, and goes, uh, you know, in an attempt to speak with him in his uh, in native tongue, uh, I attempt to use shitty, knowing me, uh, Shakespearean, and I go, thy comrade. Would thine be willing to tell us what is keeping you tied to this mortal plane? This, and then my guy just starts rambling on and on and on about like an existential crisis level way of looking at the world to the ghost. And he goes, for this about a minute. Stares back then, at you. And then the ghost replies Where's <laughs> my skull? Okay, so, we, so we're looking for that skull, I guess. Fantastic. And it wasn't on stage because I destroyed the whole set and the curtain fell down. So, is there more the, than just the stage on the map, Mike? Like, the, can we leave? Yeah, you have the whole Broadway theater to look we're through. I don't know what that would contain. Like, uh, the assistant. Assistant manager's still here, by the way. He's like, Skull? Oh, you mean that. We did get a shipment of new props in the back. In the storage area. So, I'm assuming there's a way from Curtain to get there. Let's say sure. Okay, this is why I'm like, I don't know. <clears throat> um, did she, like, give us a, dire a directional point? My character would then, I guess, attempt I to... I will bring you to... Move in that direction? I could take you guys. Well... In combat. I could, I could take, like, I could show you where it is, but what are we going to do about the ghost? Um, are, am I allowed to continue talking with the convince that I've got rolling, or do I need to roll new convince to explain I it? Are you talking to a new person? I guess. I don't know that we're talking, we're in combat. You know what I mean? That's the part of, like, I know I can talk to the ghost as an intentional action, but that person interrupting during, the, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how that roll, rolls, wor works. It'll I, be a I get, do roll to the new person. Okay, yeah, I'm like, I don't know if this is all, like, one round effectively, if that makes sense. There's, there's not really rounds in the Ghostbusters? That, yeah, you see, you see why I'm, like, confused, because I'm used to it's, that. It's, it's you go, then I go. Or the ghost goes. But I'm counting the woman as part of your team. So, like, she's, she's like there. an NPC you're playing as, more or less. So she tells us that. And I guess I would. I, but I she turn. overhears the ghost? Yeah. I turn and before convincing, I guess I would just try to. Because convinced would mean that I'm trying to. Oh, I guess I may need to. But I'll, I'll explain it very simply as. Whatever skull it's looking for is the only way to get rid of it. I'll see if I can find it, and she runs out. 
So she dashes out looking for the back room, we're going to assume. Yeah. And then on our side, we're just going to keep the ghost here. And that's the concept. Okay. So I guess it would be your turn then, Mike. Yep. Or ghost, ghost, ghost turn. Uh... Yeah, normally there's like rounds of combat, Andy, with like a timer in D and D, and that matters kind of, kind of a lot actually in a way, where like conversations only don't happen during combat because every action, like me, you, and the ghost taking a turn, is only six seconds in the real world in D and D, so conversations don't really happen during combat often, unless it's like short, quippy things. So that's why I was a little like, oh, what is this even? Uh. Am I allowed to have a conversation with someone else mid combat like this moment? Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh... So the ghost has only been hit once, right? From Andy? Yeah, yeah but it didn't stick, right? Well, it like hit it and then to... went off to the curtains because yeah, he dropped he... it, lost sight, like, lost like sight, and all that jazz. So it's not like he's currently tethered to the proton pack, is what I'm saying. Let's see. Um, mm -hmm. What do I have written down? Okay. Um, the ghost is going to materialize a rapier in its hands. And dive at the closest person. Um, that would probably be me. It would be you. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Ghost dice. Uh, powers. Two. Hand to hand combat. Extra dice would be three. And the sword. Uh, what moves talent did you take? Oh, you have fire, right? Yeah, fire weapon. But I have an idea that, that I'm going to do something different. Am I allowed to? Uh, what? Run away. Uh... I think you have like, like seeing a... it charging me? I think you have a... I'm just reading my things. Yeah, I imagine I can't like fire an attack at it, right? That makes sense. But yeah. I was just like, can I, can I react, or do I just whatever happens, it happens. I just roll dice and pray. Uh, I think you have a dodge, but I'm not sure. Like you, you have like one automatic dodge or something. Automatic dodge. I need to reread. Uh, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, uh, because I know that but... like, oh wait, is it even? A gotta be yeah yeah dodge is inside of moves for sure uh that's probably no, running a part of that i mean i have running run. away. running away oh yeah, yeah but it's, it's a muscles thing right logically yeah. in my head it's like shouldn't that be moves is more like athletic checks i would think that like running would be a cardio not a muscle yeah <laughs> 19 um I'm trying to think i think the, like what I was listening to, it's like the attack automatically happens, basically. Okay, unless so have, it's just unless you have a dodge. Okay, so okay, that, that's more of my question. Was just kind of like, I have the ability to run. A, can I run away? Does that work? Like, yeah, that's fair. So, uh, see, I'm always fuzzy about the damage, though. Yeah, see, that's what I was going to ask. Like, if I don't know damage, do I get to roll dice to try and, like, withstand the attack or no? Not at all? Uh, no, you just take damage. Oh, and so it's not like you can, like, roll even just the moves dice and see if you, like, avoidance, lack of a better term, minus the dodge ability. I don't remember where this is in the fucking manual. 
combat. Yeah, these and, these yeah. are the little questions that like when we were talking about how it's a very simple version of it. I was like, there's going to be a lot of questions because when you simplify something like this, you also don't answer a lot of questions. Oh, that here the it players is. Have. Uh, losing points for damage. Uh, let's see. 19, I would be a significant hit, so... It would be about... Let's see. Four brownie points. And you have to explain how you, like... This is the part, like... If you use your brownie points to avoid damage, you have to explain, like, how you got away. But I didn't. I didn't use anything. Like, I didn't... You know what I mean? No, like... So, using... So... Okay. The brownie, like... So, it's like you have to use brownie points... To avoid the damage, or you take, like, a certain amount of trait damage. What? So, either you give, like, like I said, like, I said four brownie points. Yeah. Or you lose, like, one or two, uh, trait, like, points in your traits. You get to pick with traits, but use points in it temporarily. Oh, and then, so I just use the, so the... So using why is, the, why so, is that complicated for no reason out of all the things? Sure. So uh, when you, okay. so when you use brownie points to avoid damage, like to we have trace. two health pools. That's all I needed. Got it. Don't know why. Well, sure. Because uh, when you run out of trait points, you're basically dead. I know, but why not just be brownie? That's my. You know what I mean? I don't know. Some like, people want to keep brownie points for like big rolls. He, I could understand that, I, I guess, but that's still true to some extent. So, you're like, you'll lose, like, two trade points, but you can still use, like, those five brownie points you lose as a roll, to, like, for something? Yeah, I guess with the four brownie points that I lost, I... I don't... He stabbed me with a rapier, what do I got for you? Not well, much. Well, he lunged at you, so, like... And I example... can't run and can't dodge, because I don't... We've already so, established that. So you avoid it by like Take you it to were, the chest. You're uh try to back like you see him lunge and you back up and fall like fall on your ass, maybe, and he just misses completely. Like I gotta come up something. with that? Yeah, you have to come up with like how you avoid it. I don't wanna. That's the DM's thing, man. I hate that. Um I guess that. I fall on my ass backwards back and forth. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not a fan of me coming up with that at all. At all at all. But sure. Cause I can debate really quickly, like, well, if I can back up, why can't I run? And I'm not going to, because we already acknowledged it. But that's why I don't like it, because to me it feels like if I don't have a way to counter it just tell me what happens right don't make me have to figure out myself like i guess i fall back i don't want to fall on my butt because is there a down in this game or a prone no no so it wouldn't like affect any like move or anything like that no. okay. okay that's why i'm like ah uh, sure so like i see it coming at me and i back away and as i'm backing away i trip over a piece of the burning debris Or maybe I trip over a piece of the, um, what's it called? Well, I don't know. This is where the map From my help. botany experiments. Well, I was going to say, maybe from the, like, uh, how it knocked down the uh, curtain. Like, part of the curtain, mm -hmm. my foot gets yeah, caught Yeah, you tripped yeah. over the curtain. Something like that. But yeah, see, this is like, this is where I'm like, uh, that's the DM's responsibility. Literally, my brain went, that's not my job. Anyway, uh, next turn. Uh. <laughs> So I guess it would be Andy's Andy turn, turn now. So Andy, uh, well, right now we're just trying to keep the ghost here, so we can try and like slow it down by attacking it, and then um, trying to think what else could be done. You could try to run off stage to get away from it. Um, 
Um, are we allowed to? So we're still. Are we allowed to do the actions that we don't have traits in? So like, I don't have dodge, but if I said I want to dodge, could I roll a moves of just my static moves to do that without the advantage? Similar to like D and D, Mike. Uh, that is reasonable. Yes. So could I have tried to dodge the last attack? Just out of curiosity, I'm not going to. Uh, I don't see why not. Okay. You want to redo just, that? I, no, 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 not at all. I'm cool with it being the way it is because we're we're learning, right? It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to understand it more. So, um, Andy, on your turn, you can uh, attempt to uh, try and like blast the ghost a little bit, which could help weaken it. Um, two streams together can like keep a ghost in place to throw a trap. So if you did that, then in theory on my turn, I could try to grab it, and then the turn after we could go for a trap, or you could grab it, I throw a trap this turn, and next turn I try to, you know what I mean? So there's a couple this rounds. Sounds like a great there. idea, since I'm still not allowed to bore him with botany. You could try. Hold on. You could try to bore him with botany. You could I mean, talk yeah, to the ghost and attempt to like make him sleepy through botany conversation. Try to bore him. If you want, go for it. It just depends on your rolls. And so, I like, does that give me six dice? Six dice. It's uh, three plus whatever you have in that trait. So you have three in the trait, so it'd be six. All right, yeah, so I'm going to uh, bore him with botany, or at least attempt to bore him with botany. We got a ghost thingy with a total of 18. 18. So we may have bored the ghost, but dot, dot, dot. Uh, you have the ghost's attention, but he... You, ha you have his attention. That's a real, the worst part's that high success shit, too. That's really hard, Mike. Holy hell. Uh, you have his attention. Like, he... He seems... Seems not... intrigued rather than bored. He's... <laughs> not really interested. But... He's... Just staring at you. Alright. Uh, are we gonna get any botany, uh... Yeah, 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 Andy, what would you, what would your attempt to say into this thing? Yeah, it didn't exactly, like, completely bore him or intrigue him, it's kind of like... Uh, I went on a very him. long tangent about palm trees. What about them? And how, the Fl Florida uh, boy perks up. <laughs> and how interesting they are hmm. with their gigantic leaves. Okay. Do you know that those actually kill uh, almost as many people as coconuts? I, uh, I did know that. A uh, certain Florida boy told me to avoid them. Because mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the problems will randomly fall off the street. Yeah. And they'll... Uh, and they can slice the fuck out of you. <laughs> fall on your head. and I am not interested in that. And, uh, <laughs> the ghost didn't really care about this because he doesn't have a head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, no more. Co he still has a head, just no corporeal. I think we're looking for the skull as in like a... Uh, Hamlet play moment, Andy. Not mm. necessarily his head. Um, Is he? Uh, are we sure he's not wrapped up in the curtain and we can't just stab him and <laughs> have a have a? No, even, that's D &D. That's that's the other. RPG even the if the curtain fell on him, he's a ghost. Yeah, we'll just go right through it. I mean, he choose to go through it. Right. I've I've heard it both ways. That too. Um. All right. So I guess. On my turn, um, after I got stabbed and fell down, my character will get up. Um, can I use medicine to recover brownie points? Mm, no. No. Cool. Cool. Could I do it to recover traits? Uh... If that's health? Yeah, I would say that. I'll keep that in mind. Brownie points curiosity. are more like temporary shit, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, was, I wanted to see, like, because I, I took medicine specifically to do, like, you know, keep health up, whatnot. And if there's, like, you can't do it with either of those, medicine just lets you know about things in a hospital. I'd be like, I'm fucking changing brains. Um, so, on my turn, um, I'm gonna follow suit with our Ghostbuster friend here. 
Um, because I don't know what attacking it would necessarily do. Well, actually, what I will do is, you know what, fuck it, I'll attack it. I'll go for it, I'll go for it. I'll fire a weapon. So I get six, because I got that plus three. It is, it is staring. 22. Oh, well, you hit it again. <laughs> Without a bad dice this time. And it is, it looks significantly weakened. And it is definitely not listening to Andy anymore. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, wait, wait. It was still listening to Andy? I thought you said it didn't have an effect on it. No, oh, he's like, he's not really interested, but he's still listening. He's is just... he distracted? He was distracted. See, I didn't know that from what you explained. I thought he did not get distracted due to the dice. No, it was like, I, I said that he was still listening. He's just not very interested. As soon as you say that, he's no longer distracted in my eyes, because I know how to listen without being distracted. Anyway... He's just, he's just staring at Andy. Yeah, okay. If he's just staring at Andy, ignore what I said. I'm not gonna... Well, there's a good roll. I'll throw... I'll, instead of doing that, since I now, I now understand that he is properly distracted, um, I will put a ghost trap down in the area around us. Like, I'm assuming we're all close enough that I could put it, like, between the three of us type stuff. Okay. That'll be my turn instead, though. Because I, I I thought that uh, it wasn't distracted, so I wanted to attack it to weaken it in case it was going to try to attack me or Andy. But it's now distracted. It's towards Andy, who hasn't taken damage. I can do this turn to put the trap out instead and prep to try and capture it maybe on next. I don't know how that works, but we'll... Yeah, anyway. So my turn is just throw down a trap and call it there. Uh, ghost turn is... Uh... Just learning about palm trees. Learning about palm trees. Fantastic. So okay, it's, frankly, it's interested the... enough. It's it's just, I don't know. I, it's, I feel like, I don't know, it's like this random, like, stuff, like, this is random information. He's like, huh. Well... Yeah. Andy's doing to the ghost what he does to me at 3 a.m. Where I'll be chilling, where we'll be, or what I do to him. Where we're just chilling here on Discord and one of us is on, like, a long conversation point And the other one's ready to, like, go to the bathroom and go to bed. And waiting for the moment of the conversation to be stopped. Yeah. So they can come in, just like right now. Where it's like, I don't want to be rude, I actually am enjoying this conversation. But, I, I, no, okay, hold on, continue. <laughs> it's just going on and on and on. Exactly. <laughs> So his turn, nothing happens. Uh, on Andy's turn, I guess. So Andy's currently uh, talking to the ghost about the palm tree still. Uh, you can try to continue talking to him about palm trees to keep distracting him. You could shoot him now that I put the trap down. Up to you. If you're I'm talking gonna... about palm trees, I want more palm tree facts. I'm okay. Gonna... I'm gonna... Andy's currently looking up palm tree facts. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna have beer. Speaking of bathroom moments, I'm gonna be right back. It'll be like a minute. Okay, I have plenty of time to learn about palm trees then. <laughs> the ghost is thinking, what the fuck is a palm tree? Alright, I am back. What palm tree facts did we get? Palm tree facts? We haven't gotten any palm tree facts yet. Ah, oh, okay. I was waiting for you to come back. Right. Uh, I do wish to continue to bore the ghost with botany facts about palm trees. Okay. Oh, well. 18 and it's still a ghost. <laughs> um, 
I I have decided to tell the ghost that um, there are over 2,500 species of palm trees. Very diverse plant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, not all palm trees are trees, and not all plants called palms are truly palms. True. Uh, and palm trees are an evergreen. I did not know that, but that makes sense with the uh, leaves, for lack of a better term. Okay. <laughs> uh, any more, or that's it? Uh, the tallest palm tree can grow to 197 feet. And the ghost is over there, like, unsubscribe from palm tree facts. Unsubscribe <laughs> from palm tree facts. <laughs> the, yeah, the ghost is like... You, you, Oko D. The... Mer palm tree has the largest seed <laughs> of any plant on Earth. The well, unsubscribe from palm tree. So, as large as 20 inches 18, in diameter. I'd say you still... And as heavy as 66 pounds. <laughs> I would say my... What, it was 18? Yeah, you, you still, same role as last you time. You still have him... He's still it's distracted, distracted with my, but my... he seems more irritable now. It's like, it's like, why won't this person shut up? <laughs> and I think, okay, so every time you get a ghost dice, I'm going to increase the difficulty on this. If you no, keep on distracting him. <laughs> so the first time was like 10. This time was a 15. So you have to get... 20 oh. if you want to oh, keep distracting him. Saying. Wait, wait, hold on. For him, through botany, you mean, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to try and distract him with medicine and medicine information. <laughs> uh, oh, I also need a seventh die. Because uh, I have four in that stat. Wait, right? Four? Yeah, four. Four plus medicine. Uh, so I'm going to distract him via uh, 26. Uh, and I'm going to say to the uh, good sir, um, did you know that there's actually a ritual use for palm trees in um, sub-Saharan Africa? They actually decided to use it as traditional medicine. All and I start just going on a tirade about how palm trees are actually used as medicinal works. Oh, I don't want to go it. through it, but uh, I can continue it with, uh, uh, you know, uh, it uh, challenged my detailed information about that, however. Um, which, uh, the ritual of palms is, uh, you know, kind of like inextricably part of African medicine and their spiritual systems. Um, I've studied over 200 publications that use African palms and I found about like 26 or so different rituals that use it. There's at least like 12 species of these palms and they're all used in different medical ways. And it's just like, I'm just like, still palm so trees, still on palms, but medicine. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> now we're both. It's the three of us just having a. Me and Aid are just having like a water cooler conversation with the ghost. And it's like I let off of his points. <laughs> oh, the ghost. <laughs> Can't figure out. What the fuck you guys are talking about? But like, palm you have you have you have you have per he doesn't know what a fucking palm tree is. I would think. Know what a palm tree is? He's a ghost that ended up in New York City from Victorian era, or from like the the medieval, as you're saying, the, you know, the, the Shakespearean era. He shouldn't even be here. He should be in England. Unless he's a ghost who is a play actor in America doing Shakespearean plays. In which case, he's American and probably knows what a palm tree is. <laughs> he's very confused. <laughs> but... Still not doing anything, I guess. It's fine. And uh, at this point, <laughs> the assistant manager pops in. I I think I think I found the skull, and she has a she has like a uh, a human skull in her hands. Mm -hmm. 
does the ghost react to that at all? Does it, or is it so distracted by a palm tree conversation it doesn't even notice the skull? Well, <laughs> try to think. They roll twenty six. I think you, you think you have him sufficiently uh, distracted that he wouldn't have noticed yet. Actually, no, he would notice because it's his Heard. tethered object, so he would like still notice, notice. That's notice fair. His presence. Okay, so hold on. You telling me it's the tethered object is the important bit there, I guess. So fair yeah. enough. He uh, he's like, my skull. I didn't know she like found a not real skull, like the prop one, and came by like this skull. No, not that skull. Other skull. It was the only skull that got uh, sent to them, along with mm -hmm. other props. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, it's only she thinks problem. it's in that, but could be yeah. somewhere else. Fair enough. Wanted to check that that is, that is its skull. Yeah. Hey, uh, he's like, my skull! And starts, uh, zipping towards the assistant manager. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who proceeds to scream and, uh, drop the skull and run away. Okay. So the ghost is, uh, ghost grabs the skull. So it's a lot of movement for the ghost without us being able to do anything. I don't think you're in combat anymore. Oh, we're not? A, oh, we're at that you're level? Have, okay. You're having a, you're literally, you're <laughs> literally, our way out of fucking, it. you got, if you had a Waller cooler, it would be a perfect <laughs> setup at this point. Like, should I know he shouldn't touch the skull and therefore be trying to get to it before him? Uh, you wouldn't know. Why not? I'm a Ghostbuster. And I, you said I rolled well earlier, and I knew what I was looking at through the PKE thing. Yeah, you know it's a tethered object, but like you don't know like the like nature of it. You just know he's a tethered to an object, and then he told you a skull. Right, but oh, hold on. Through experience, wouldn't you know more often than not whether or not you should get there before it? Or, like, through any knowledge you've learned at this point? You know what I mean? It could be bad, like, it could be good. You don't know. So, so then at I would point? try to get to it before him, then. Because if I don't know, I'm going to get there. I'm going to try and attempt that, would be the idea. But, I, I mean, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, it could be A or B. If it's A or B, then my guy's going to attempt to run to the skull before the ghosts would get there. I say attempt. Okay. I would also like to run over there. <laughs> um, I can I throw in? I pick up my trap. Uh, so not in combat. I, I, do you want? Do you want us to leave it out just in case? Well, we're not near the ghost now. The ghost is running towards the where the lady came from, which I'm assuming is like the like past all the seats. At the, like, front of the... You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess so, you could. Yeah, that's why I was like... So, I pick up, I'll, I'll pick up Trap and attempt to do a, a run check. Which is six dice for me. So, these. Okay, 17. Wait, you also have and, the run trait? Mm-hmm. 100%. Oh. Now, there's no scenario I wouldn't take that one. Out of all those ones in there, I would always take run. Yeah, run sounds like the best one. Like, because I, I can argue the rest of these pretty... Like, kick over, kick things over. All right, break things open. All right, lift. Sure, that could be useful. Climb might be good. Gobble food's not. Grapple won't be. How, what are we grappling? Um, Break things. What? Well, again, I, I shoot things to break them, right? Brawl. When are we ever brawling a ghost? I, uh, wrestle? We should have taken I mean, Wrestle. That would have you, been a good one. You might have... Like, in some instances, could be like... Like, a uh, possessed human. Uh, actual other humans. But I imagine corporeal. with possessed humans, we would have to slime them to even do anything anyway, so I would just shoot. Like... Uh, a corporeal beings that are supernatural. Yeah, but I'm not gonna go wrestle those. What? 
I don't know, this throwing out examples. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but I mean like I mean useless in the sense of they can be justifiably done by something else or they themselves don't have a benefit. That's all. Like, there's no scenario where you wouldn't shoot at one of these things rather than any of those, in my opinion. Because it's not like D D where I could put stats into wrestling and use it frequently against physical beings, right? Often, I, like, you know what I mean? I can't, like, invest in... Oh, I'm going to invest in grapple because we keep running into these scenarios where I need to grab people. That could be here to some extent, but I'm going to shoot it because if it's a ghost, I don't care to die. And if it's a human, I'm going to slam you to D. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I mean by useless. A lot of those are just not good. And run is going to be something you can use consistently for the whole campaign. Right? Because okay. you're going to be moving the whole time. But yeah. So, Andy, did you roll your run? I didn't know I was allowed to. Oh, okay. Uh, are you attempting to do so? I would like to run, yes. Okay, so I got a 17. I got a 16. And you got a 16. Uh... I'll roll the ghost's ability to run. Give me that goose face. What was your rules again? 16 and 17? 16, yeah. Yeah, you get there before him, somehow. Somehow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Literally, somehow, you beat a <laughs> thing that can go through fucking objects while you have to, like... You were... You know what? <laughs> you guys well, were, like... We were distracting him, so maybe he was just confused while we were, like, run for it. <laughs> yeah, that could work, too. I was also to, <laughs> I was also to see you guys just, like... Stepping through, like, running, like, stepping over steeds and shit. Like, running <laughs> on top of the, like, You want rows. the best one, Mike? What? The only reason we got there ahead of him is because we were walking and talking with him about palms the whole time. Distracting him. <laughs> Trying to, like, lead him. Yeah. <laughs> like, we were slightly ahead of him. And we go, hey, look, a skull. And then, um, I guess I'll get to the skull, and then, um... Um, ooh, do I grab it and then look at him, or, um, hmm, trying to think. I mean, it could be, actually, it should, I guess it should be Andy's action first, because we were doing it as, like, that turn order. Uh, you always go by who rolled higher run. Oh, that would be me then, because I rolled one higher than Andy. Okay. So if I get there first, then, um, how far is the ghost from us? Uh, well, considering his, he had a significant lead on him. Hmm, okay. So, so with, the, with the significant lead, I'm going like, to, I would say... I don't know, between, like, 10 to 15 feet? Yeah, enough distance that it's, like... So, uh, I'll stand in its path, I guess, between it and the skull. And try to... Con <laughs> this is where I'm, like, I have to just change my wording and it works. And this is pro uh, I'm going to try to convince it to tell me what will happen when it gets to the skull... Okay. That, that, that. I'm sure. gonna try to convince it. Um, I'm going to use uh, two, two. How many? Well, I mean, brownie points are just temp things, right? H how many am I allowed to use brownie points? You can use as much as you want. Jesus, that's terrifying. Yeah. I will use. Uh, example, the podcast I'm listening to, they had a Gozer-type scenario on a season finale, mm -hmm. where they had to cross the streams. The one oh. dude spent, like, 15 points. Just doing that, yeah. To, like, yeah. Um, do you get them back at the end of sessions, or no? Yeah, like, after every episode. Oh, oh. it's... Okay, so you get them back if you do well. If you don't do well, then you get, like, like a certain amount back, but not all of them. 
It would be okay. at my discretion. Okay. Fair enough. So, um, for me, I'm gonna throw in an extra three dice to my convince, which will put it like at you eight actually total. need it. Well, I only have two in that set, so it's it'll be a five dice roll. Before. Uh, so rather than doing five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, must be eight. Yeah. And I'm kind of glad I did. 22. That was a lot of low rolls. Uh, he stops and is like, I need my skull. Um, it completes me. Hmm. Thanks for the vague answer. Smart GM. Uh, can I, can part of it be, be me convincing him how, to tell me how? Or, yeah, but how? I'm not whole without it. And it's a feeling. Okay. So, Andy, uh, that, would, that would be your go now. You're near the skull. You could try to pick it up. You could try to destroy it. Um, you could try to talk to the ghost. Can I ask the ghost to borrow his skull? Ooh, I, I should have done that. That should have been me. I should have tried to convince him for me to borrow it. Because I have a borrow trait. Oh! Okay, you could. You can always try anything you think of. Uh, for to a certain degree. <laughs> I had to put that in there because Kyle. Twenty four. Twenty four. He he's like <laughs> he he looks at you. And he's like, uh, I. Uh, will I get it back? Well, maybe. You're a good ghost. There you go. <laughs> and uh, reluctantly uh, nods its head. And then... Mm. Uh, I guess I'm you very, just... I'm like, how do you... Yeah, like, how do you behave as a GM in that circumstance when he, it was just looking into it? He's like... <laughs> Oh, okay, and just vanishes like it just starts fading out, and then it's gone. Oh, you have a skull. Oh, oh, cool. Oh, I guess we bring it back to decontam bring it back to the contamination slash home base. I guess? Yeah, I guess so. Because that's what you're going to oh. do. I mean, I don't know what else I, like, I don't, it's kind of like working a job where you don't have, like, any idea of what your job protocol is. I have no idea what options I have in this scenario. <laughs> Outside of, like, do we bring it back to study? Like, I don't know. It wasn't in the user manual. I don't Maybe, know. Um... Is it time for me to drive again? Uh, sure is, buddy. You're nice. Going back to the thing. Twenty-two. Um, yeah, you get there in a timely uh, matter. Uh, you, you still avoid all the New York traffic somehow. Mm -hmm. uh, Excellent. While you're driving, you notice you. Uh. A a. a Faint glow in the back seats. That's not ideal. But, uh, fine. We're Ghostbusters at this point. It's like, yeah, it's fine. You get back to the firehouse. Uh, you put the skull on the Janine desk. And out of nowhere, the ghost just pops up. <laughs> just... Like my guy, face comes back. Like comes back. Hi, into... Shaky. How you doing? Like just very cordial, very friendly. He's like looking around. And he's like, you here to learn more about palm trees? <laughs> I think we're gonna cut it right there. The ghost disappears. <laughs> and he's just like, nope. No, that's that's when the credit trolls. Okay. <laughs> you want to know more about palm? 
I have an after thing, but I it, do, it doesn't sound like you guys are gonna be too interested in do, like continuing this. I mean, I I don't mind it too much. I think we need more players. I think it was just me and Andy. It's a bit too limited. We would need like a proper set, like four people, Mike. Three or four. I because was, I was trying to get Snarf, but Snarf says has someone else at uh, one of his relatives' house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, but I think it would need I think four, man. I think this is like the um, because we need more people for like different ways of doing this, if that makes sense. More because me and Andy, yeah, because me and Andy look at it and like he was able to talk about botany, I was able to talk about medicine, and we played off each other well enough. <laughs> you know, like I got stabbed with a rapier, but that was about well, it. you didn't get stabbed, you avoided getting stabbed. Oh, yeah, 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 but you know what I mean, like, well. Again, still weird, but yes. Sent points to avoid getting... <laughs> yeah, yeah that's it. Sent points to avoid points, and which I'll never do again, because I, I know how I would break this game. I would put most of my points into cool and brains, and then keep convinced in medicine, and fuck firing guns, fuck running half the time. I would probably maybe put a little more into the run, and then I would just let you hit my stats. And I would be like, okay, cool, medicine check with six dice. Which is actually nine dice. And then you would be like, well, you get your health. You know what I mean? Okay, I would also add, like, you're trying to heal yourself. You have to have a med kit, too, on top of it. There's no oh. items in this, though. I would create one for you. Okay. That's fair. But I would absolutely do that, then. Yeah. Cause, like, because, like, oh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just medicine. Like, that's why I'm like, how I the fuck do you medicine with this, Mike? How yeah. the fuck would you, like... Yeah. At yeah. some point, you might get, like, a de decapitated arm at some points. Like, like, yeah, yeah, like an arm gets pulled off or something. Well, yeah. I don't think this game was meant to go into that detail. Like you're saying, the Ghostbusters aren't meant to die. Uh, so I, actually, I... no. The one example on here for oh, damage would be hit, being hit by an axe. One brownie yeah. point if you just nicked, uh, nicked, the, like, nicked yourself. Up to ten brownie points if a part, if part of... If a part of you fell off and is bouncing around the room. Wait, does this say if it is or would be? If a part fell off. So you do take damage. When you get hit. Even if you use brownie points. No, if, if you use brownie points, you avoid it. But that's how much points you would have you, to oh, pay I know, to avoid I, I'm, it. I'm using the like wording. It says, if you did not, would. If you would. That's what I'm saying. Okay, that's that was the clarification I needed. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you would is different than if you did. You know what I mean? Because that changes how the game flow would work. Where it would be like, oh, you do get hit, but the brownie points make it less severe. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, you got hit, but you dealt with it, however. Versus, oh, you didn't get hit, you just took brown... Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if it's if you would be hit, you just use brownie points instead. That makes sense. Um, okay. I guess that clicks. Because <laughs> otherwise, it's like, oh, cool. Uh, although, like five points. I would, of, I would uh, say traits. the, I would say the med kit though would take up as equipment slot though uh -huh. for you. I agree. I agree with that. I think that's valid. Okay. I think it makes sense because like, that's what I mean by like simple games are easy to break, right? Like, because. If it doesn't say it in the game, technically I could debate it, but I'm not willing to. It's just we need to come to understandings prior to those scenarios, right? Okay. Um, well, uh, interesting. Thoughts, concerns? It was kind of fun. I enjoyed the palm tree conversation. It's very much a me, Andy way of kind of dealing with this. I come in and just talk well, our way out like okay. there's nothing else to do. So, so the after thing is... Uh... I wrote a little. I, 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 uh, after the job is done, somewhere across the country, a psychokinetic energy explosion happens, and a small rip start. A, a small rip, and like between both worlds starts to open. Oh, wow, that's a significant improvement from Shaky Ghost. Yeah, you have to work up to like this shit. I mean, I didn't feel like working out. That found like if that's the next story, it was just like, all right, and into the. <laughs> well, it's gonna be like a multi. Oh, oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Li like a, like a little like twelve episode 
Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Fair enough, then. I was thinking you meant, no, like, the setup. next episode was that. Yeah, okay. No, I was just trying to... Like, I have two I have two ideas for this. It can go either way. Or we can combine them both. Uh, like, I wrote in our D&D group chat. Uh, mm -hmm. I either have Ghostbusters San Francisco, which is... All right. I can help with that. Which, the rip happens in San Francisco, but, like, no one notices yet. So I was thinking, it's, it's sort of like a the rip just now is like foreshadowing sun like in, like like in a TV episode. It'll be yeah, like, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Um It's the same way that the Ghostbusters movies work too, where it's like they go to the hotel with Slimer and they don't really realize that there's this bigger plot thing going on that it leads into as the movie progresses and things exactly. keep changing. Yay, yeah, 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 okay. So To which uh, we're bringing Shaky then. <coughs> Shaky? The ghost. Oh. <laughs> your slime. It'll be your slime. I'm bringing the skull. Yeah, uh, 100%. We're just going to talk to him about palm trees the whole drive across from New York to San Francisco. That ghost is going to kill himself again. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, the premise would be it would sit in the same universe as the Ghostbusters still. It would be, it would be literally you guys, instead of training new people, this would be like a couple like months like, in from now. Like a time skip, and instead of training new people, they'll send like uh, you and digits <laughs> <laughs> to San Francisco uh, branch, and then we'll just have like you train the trainee snarf and who else we can get. Yeah, did they, did they ever branch out of New York? Uh, comic book wise, yes. But not like real, not things that matter. Like you mean the movie universe, or even the TV? No. Hmm. Fair enough. Uh, video game kind of counts towards the movie universe, uh, but they said something about like opening up franchises across the country. Okay, so fair enough. Hey, I was just curious because um, I, I was like, I know I, I used to watch the TV show when I was younger. And then I remember, like, way fucking long ago. And then the movies, of course. And I'm like, I don't... They're always just New York. Which I guess... I mean, that's a lot of those movies, like, of that era. Uh, the, it's like uh, Home Alone and whatnot. The other Tim idea Tim. would be... Um, the... the yeah, you were Ghost the Warehouse... No, no, the Warehouse 13 thing was for My Little Pony, if... We do that oh, that's for right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ethan. Uh, no, uh, the other idea was that uh, uh, Ghostbusters Earth twenty six B, which be classic Ghostbusters never happens. You are uh, the classic. The class like you, you your characters are the first ever Ghostbusters, mm. and well, I'll take you through a like redux of like, like a re. Of like a retelling of like Gozer, but with like, different twists Recap. on it. Yeah. And go from there. That could work. Actually, I was gonna say that that Warehouse Thirteen idea might work too, because I just thought of something, Mike. But Ghostwise. What if we take Warehouse Thirteen and it's us going to different dimensions to capture ghosts, including the My Little Pony RPG? <laughs> like we go to other RPGs. Other universes. Uh, that That's what I'm saying. Too. That could work too. That, that would kind of be a way for you to try out a bunch of the RPGs, but keep it where we're not just stuck to one, and we can, you know what I mean? Like jump. That's not like obviously not. I'm not. I don't think that would be like first campaign. I, see, but see, like that's, that's like a concept. I I guess that could work, but like I don't know how that would translate into other things. Yeah, I I think we we could figure it out, but it would be like me and you would have to sit down a bit and like figure out like okay, cool. The Ghostbusters go into the thing, and then maybe it would be like some players on the board are the Ghostbusters, some players are the internal world RPG. If we had the problem is that you need enough players for that, but that could be the idea as well. Where uh, it would be like, say, three Ghostbusters, and if we had another two people playing, 
and those two people could be from the, you know, Pathfinder world or the My Little Pony world or Star Trek world. And so they have all their items and their skills, and their whatnot, and then we have ours and we just got to translate it. And then it's trying to get ghost deal artifacts throughout the multiverse. God damn, end me. Maybe. But yeah, random concept. Just came into my head. But I do like the San Francisco idea. I think I like that better than the original one. Um, Because, I mean, it's SF. But uh, also, I, I feel like it makes more sense if the Ghostbusters exist because we'd have more to, like, Go play off of. Play off yeah. Of, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Plus, you could also add those original Ghostbusters as NPCs that might show up during the campaign, the critical moment, so there's yeah. more for you. So I think that's better versus replacing them. But, yeah, I don't mind. I'd be down to do this again uh, with a couple more folks and then, like, on a system where I actually have a map, like Roll20. Andy, what are your uh, thoughts? Um, I mean... Did you have fun? Definitely less my jam. Hmm. And um, there's a lot of downtime. That's true. Yeah, that's all tabletop RPGs. Which, depending on the time that we were doing this, is prime nap time. Yeah, right now. For yeah. Me. Yeah. 11.30 so, like, time. I was just playing, I was just fishing in RuneScape to stay awake. Yeah, we'd, if we were going to do this, we'd have to do it at an earlier time, which might be hard for me on, like, weekdays. Weekend, I could. I could do it on a weekend if we wanted to do it earlier. Like, say, like, a 6 p.m. start or something. I'd be yeah. down to do that, but um, it would only be weekend then, is the downside. Uh, yeah, the day, nighttime. Too late. Late. Too late, the, too slow. Too, too late, too slow, five me. That's okay. fair. That's, uh, not, I don't know, like, I don't know if not you... terrible, but... Okay. The downtime is understandable. Like, we... That's, like, the biggest complaint I would say I have with, like, D&D &D and most tabletop things is downtime between your turns and your actions because that's the only thing that keeps most people engaged. Even in a cooperative game like we're doing here, right? And to top that off... In a co-op game, it's like when someone has a plan, it's very easy for everyone else to be like, oh, we'll follow that plan. And yeah. then you're not really taking your turns. Because right. it's like, oh, I don't want to not follow that plan. That's a good plan. But that means your turn isn't, you know what I mean? They're not um, having a turn. You're just doing. That's where, like, when we were doing D&D &D with the other group, Andy, I was like, hey, act like your character, not like you talking to me. Right? It's like, what would your character do in this scenario? And that helped the group do a little bit better there because then it was making your own decisions regardless of the group plan or whatever, the smart things, right? Like, your character ran towards the ghost. It could be that you decide your character is intendedly a cowardly character who would not do such a thing. And then that would create, you know, a scenario where you do something different that may not be beneficial to the capturing of that ghost, but in a scenario that's larger than just a single ghost in a, you know, room, it might be useful. So there's other things there, and also with more, um, like, uh, what's the word? Not intense. Um, complicated. With more complicated scenarios and amounts of ghosts, then what would happen is then there would be more things for you to do without having to worry about working together as a team, right? Um, but that's fair. Like, downtime is one of the hardest things in D&D &D for a lot of folks, um, and our tabletop RPGs in general. And the worst part about it is these games benefit from having more players quite often, which means even more downtime between your turns. So, like, tonight it was just me, you, and the Game Master. Often with these games, it would be four players, Andy. Right. So it would be two more turns, and then Game Master, and then you. So, but that's good to know. That's a very fair point. Um, but if we do it, like, sometime early, Mike, I'd be down to try doing a couple more of these. Or if you, uh, Andy, if you're like, yeah, you know what, I'm good on this. Like, if we have enough people through other means, I'm down to still do another one. I don't know if I would commit to full campaign on this one, Mike, unless I play with the, like, whatever the group's going to be first. Does that make sense? Okay. 
like if it's me, um, Andy Snarf, and maybe somebody else, that's fine. But I'd rather do like a test of how does that group play this particular game before committing to it. Um, kind of like we were doing with the D and D session, where we like tested it out with everybody on that first like, you know, uh, wagon attack, and then I kind of figured out how everyone was playing. I did miss the second session where they waterboarded somebody, but you know. I still think the best part of tonight, Andy, was us just coming, like palm trees, palm trees. What are you about to learn about tonight, to Ghost? Palm trees. Palm trees. 